Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page eight of Cosmos Infinity, page eight. Um, I went ahead and I just found these, and while I was trying to think about my design, I went ahead and backed them. I'm actually going to use one of the two in on this page. So on this page, um, this is a map of the astrological signs um, with some pictorial representations, and I really liked this print. So I wanted to feature it on a page. So this is actually going to be page eight. And then what's going to um, make it a little bit more clever than this is I cut an internal circle out and it's going to pull out and then go back in. So I decided to make my circle inside. And if I had it to do again, I was originally going to put it on the back of something. I probably would have caught right here on this page on this uh, line um, instead of inside so far now the only thing to be cautioned to uh, to be cautioned about is when you if you trim it here there's not a lot of space between here and here and this is not going to be glued down because that's where you're going to no this side sorry because this is page eight so this is the spine in the back of the book, and then here's the outside. So there's just not a lot of stability here. So if you decide to do that, I would go ahead and take the whole print and back it with black cardstock just to stiffen this edge. So as you're pulling this in and out, you don't jeopardize tearing this small little piece. Now, because I came in so far, I'm not so concerned about it. So I cut my circle, then I temporarily taped it back in place. And I backed it with cardstock first and then put it back in place. So this cardstock is going to make this cutout slightly larger on the inside. So it's not going to try to pop through. Um, and then I marked where I'm going to be putting glue and where I'm not going to put glue. So I'm going to actually curve my glue line so that when I push this in, it's going to want to find its spot naturally. And then this is the piece that I'm going to use as the handle. So it'll be glued to the circle. And it'll peek out like so. So it's going to stick out about a quarter of an inch so you can pull it and it'll bring this circle with it. Hopefully all of that makes sense. So now I can go ahead and detach the circle, which I just temporarily attached it with some tape. Carefully remove it. I think I've got a piece over here. Yeah. Just make sure when you put the, the base piece down that you've got it lined up the way you want it. So that when you put your insert in, it finishes your patterns. Now, of course, if you go along this, this edge, you don't have to be concerned about that because all of the um, illustrations will be inside that line. Okay, now let me verify I've got this. Nope, so it goes this way. So here's an, the image that I'm basing the orientation on. It's an angel, and I know his wing, his one wing, second wing goes right here. So I know this is the orientation, and then of course you've got these 90 degree angles to look at too. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put this down. And everywhere you see a black stripe, I'm going to put glue. Did I ink it? Yes, I did. And the white line, I want to stay away from going over it. Otherwise, I'll make the um, closure too small for the circle to fit in. But I do want to come close enough that it doesn't try to overextend into the pocket that I'm creating. So the important thing is that all four corners will be tacked down. That'll help stabilize the overall page. Okay, now I'm going to go back and do a little more detail, right? A very thin line right here. You want to move quickly so you don't get any blobs. Okay.
And you know what I just did? I did it exactly opposite of what I wanted. Did I? I did. Oh well, it's gonna come out. It's gonna come out toward the um, the back cover, which is fine. I just is it is it fine? No, it's not. It's not fine. I have to wait for it to dry and do it again, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> so if this is page eight, and that's the spine, that's the back cover. This is gonna extend as a tab to pull it out, so it's gonna interfere with the spine. So it has to go on this side. So. I'm going to turn it upside down, wait for this to dry, and then reapply it. So I'm going to speed that along by trying to tap some of it up. Oops, I'm glad I caught that. So don't do, don't make the same mistake I just did. I might actually have to put some black cardstock on it to make sure it's not sticky when I go to put it back down. So I hadn't done page seven, so it doesn't really matter. It's just a square with an opening on both sides. So again, uh, the opening needs to be on your left-hand side. Okay, I'm gonna take a break and let all this dry. Uh, in the meantime, I can go ahead and add this. So I did, when I was mocking it up, I, it's really hard to see, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I drew a curved line right there and did some scribbles so I know it goes on like this. And I'm lining this line up with that line so I can go ahead and do this right now. And I just kind of eyeballed it. I want it to stick out far enough to, to touch, but not so far that it sticks up more than the pocket page. Yeah, so about a quarter inch. And it could be anything. Okay, I'll let all that dry and I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay guys, sorry about that. I went ahead and glued it down the right way. So now my opening is on this side. And I forgot to put glue up here to the corner. <laughs> I'm like, what's the matter here? Uh, so the corner should be down. And then I've attached my pole. And this will slide in as a photo mount, like so. Let me open this. Oops, I think I got a little too close to the edge. Yeah, I did. Okay, I'm just going to lift this a little bit. This should go straight under. So if if in doubt to leave your um, your photo mount attached temporarily with tape and then you can glue around it and slide it in. I'm going to open this up a little bit. I'm just turning my pick tool around and smoothing this out just a little bit. So you probably want to leave I would say a quarter inch. Mm, yeah about a quarter inch. And remember, when you press, your glue is going to spread. Okay. Part of it is mine is sticky because I put the glue on the wrong side the first time. So it's a little bit tacky. Okay. Oops. Let's slide this in. Yours should slide in a lot easier if, it, if you're not fighting um, some glue that dried on the other side. And eventually it'll flatten out and not be as much of a problem for me, especially after I trained it a little bit. There, there we go. There we go. 
let's see, I'm lining all my lines up. There it goes. Okay, there's my pattern. You can see where uh, I've got this little tab so as an indicator. So you can put a photo here or you can pull it out and have a photo on the base page as well as the back side of the circle. And that is page eight. Very simple, but still a fun little surprise when you pull out your photo. And don't make the same mistake I did. It won't be tacky like mine. <laughs> I had put glue all the way, all the way over this. Okay. A little less glue on the edges. Give yourself a little wiggle room there. And the idea is, if you do that half circle, is that it sort of slides into its own spot. Otherwise, you'll wind up, if it's just a big open square, you'll wind up adjusting it up and down, left and right. So there you go. There's page eight. See you guys soon.